I know I personally feel that certain races contribute significantly less than others to our culture, such as Mexicans and Indians, and the best way to avoid this is simply to divide people by race. Bit of a hot take, but I think uh, those feet might actually be more disgusting than that opinion. Hello, it me, Coyote Lovely. Please don't ask me about that accent, I don't know what it was, and it confuses me just as much as it confused you. Speaking of being really fucking confused, what the fuck at all was any of this shit? Like one moment we're all just sitting here and everybody's chill, everybody's copacetic, and then suddenly this dude comes out with this video just out of the fucking blue, and it's just like everyone's just gone on a thermonuclear meltdown. So I'm gonna give you a brief rundown on what this situation was. This dude, Achilles Argyle, uh, you know, a very apt name considering how in defeat he appears to be, uh, Achilles Argyle drops this video, why we need racism. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> this can't be serious. He can't be. <laughs> he can't be serious. I'm sorry. I need a moment. Oh god. Okay, I've collected myself, and I want to say that this guy's trolling. I want to say he's not serious, but like, there's a couple reasons I think he might actually be legitimate in, in what he's doing here, and we're gonna get into those in a little bit. But I'm gonna show you just a few clips from this video, and we can we can go over at least some of what he's gonna say. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but we're gonna go over some choice segments, some choice clips that are just too good not to add in. Now, before you all grab your pitchforks and storm into the comments section over the title of the video alone, let me just say that of course racism is bad. I wouldn't make a 10 minute video defending something so obviously terrible. Generations have been ruined because of racism, and lives are still getting destroyed by it. However, I don't think we should be painting racism as entirely evil, because, well, there's a reason why people are racist, and that's not because people want to be bad, it's because there are objective benefits to being racist. And I don't think we should be discrediting these benefits with all this virtue signaling bullshit, because we are seriously reaching a low point in history without racism. Okay, he starts by uh, stating that racism is obviously bad and he wouldn't make a 10 minute video defending it, and then goes to defend it within the first 30 seconds. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. I, this can't, this guy can't be serious. I don't accept this. I don't accept it. No, he's trolling. He has to be trolling. This has to be bait. There's no fucking way. There's no way. But we're gonna keep going. The politically correct may preach that globalization is the only way things should be, but a divided world gives states and people true independence, and thus responsibility for our own mistakes and development. I know I personally feel that certain races contribute significantly less than others to our culture. Now see, this was a nice touch that I think flew under a lot of people's radar. See, a lot of people were so distracted by the absolutely ridiculous things that he was saying, as well as the really overt stink that appears around his feet later on, that they completely missed the part that the sweat forms on his feet mid-video. <laughs> oh, but they can't do anything else because they don't have the same rights as us. Oh, they're like this because of nurture, they say as they continue to let these primates fuck our countries. Maybe if they were told to stay in their own shitholes, they'd find that they have the same rights as in their own country, and they'd figure out that the only way to find a better life is to start by bettering their own land and not by running away from it. In my opinion, the worst offender of all is India. They're pumping CO2 into the world like it's a competition. They're third in the world in terms of CO2 emissions. Yeah, well, your feet are first and second place in the world in pumping CO2 emissions. Got them. You know why? It's because they have a culture practically based entirely around being unhygienic. You know, I'd make a joke there, but there's no way that wasn't intentional. They eat shit and drink piss for breakfast. <laughs> Your mom eats shit and drinks piss for breakfast. Yeah, for those of you who are expecting some really witty commentary here, you're not gonna get that in this video. Like, it's this is either A, bait, or B, idiotic. So there's no reason to really put really high-tier responses into any of this. I mostly just want to make fun of the guy for being a complete dipshit. And if Achilles has a problem with that, what are you gonna do about it? Fuck you, you sweaty little bitch. Go take a shower. And they toss their mountains of trash and shit into the ocean. Take a wild guess as to what happens to the world when a country with this kind of disgusting culture industrializes. 
but all of these people get a pass with the wave of a hand because they're minorities and they're being marginalized. And don't even get me started on black crime statistics. I'm gonna be real, the amount of times that he uses his toes like that, it really is starting to freak me out. Like, this is like, dude, you're making people uncomfortable, you need to stop. You need to shut this down now. Don't lie to yourself neither, being racist feels good. You're repressing your inner hatred by refusing to be racist, by refusing to generalize a race into one offensive caricature. But really deep in your subconscious, you know that that's what they really are. You can't live without strife nor negativity. You need those elements of human life to balance yourself. Accept it, racism is chaos, and our minds are just as chaotic as it if we condemn racism deep down. Man's just sitting here literally thinking he's the Joker. He's just like, I'm an agent of chaos. Let's introduce some anarchy into the system. And the one great thing about anarchy, it's fair. It's like he's like the Joker trying to sell you on racism. Like, it doesn't, like, what the fuck, dude? But anyway, this is, there's a very real possibility. Like, a good to fair chance that this video was bait and it got the intended reaction uh, out of everybody. The whole fucking planet. Because um, it seems to just be exploding. Uh, I'm, but there were a couple of weird things that happened on Twitter that made me think, guys, maybe he's actually being genuine, and that actually kind of fucking scared me, to be honest, and I'm going to go over those right now. The first thing is that he revealed that these were actually, these stills were actually commissions. He paid for these. Um, and the art, the artist who did these commissions, they're not willing to, you know, be associated with him anymore. Uh, but when you look at all the poses that he's got, all the weird shit he's got in this, just off of those stills, that means he invested anywhere between dozens to hundreds of dollars just on character stills alone for a joke that he had no way of knowing would have paid off. A troll that, that, were, that had no guarantee at the time of succeeding. That is a heavy level of investment into something that you have no idea if anyone's even going to see. Because for all he knew, nobody was going to see this. Nobody would have cared. You know, it wouldn't have even gotten picked up by anybody. So that's the first thing that kind of jumped out at me. Before we get that one fucking smarmy asshole jumping into the comments going, Um, actually, you're making a video on this, so it was, uh, it worked out in the end, so who's the, who's the idiot now? Well, actually, it's you, because that's results-oriented thinking. At the time, there was no way to guarantee that this reaction would have been got, so, um, you're fucking stupid and you're wrong and fuck you. The next thing that I wanted to point out is that there are people who are replying to him that are getting their accounts either suspended or their tweets flagged when they reply to him in less than positive ways on Twitter based on this video. And normally when it comes to things that are, when people are trolling, you don't see that happen. The reaction is what people want, so the reaction is going to stay pretty visible. They don't report these things, they don't flag them, they don't, they don't try to get somebody suspended over it. And it's one of those things that seeing that, you're just like, like, is this for real, guys? I don't know if this is a joke anymore. Is this is this guy memeing? Is he serious? Is he trolling? What's happening? At the end of the day, the video, for the most part, is really stupid. Uh, if it's a troll, then I guess, congratulations, buddy. You've convinced the entire internet that you are a complete dipshit. And if it's genuine, then you just happen to be the dipshit the internet believes you to be. <laughs> you're not a, you're not the dipshit that we, that we deserve, but you're the one that we needed. <laughs> Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, my, fuck. All I can think about is those fucking sweaty ass stink feet. Dude, wash your feet, please, wash your feet. I will, I will pay you money. Not much, a little bit, but I will pay you money if you will just wash your feet. That would make me very happy and never do that again. I mean, the feet, honest to God, was the, was, I said at the beginning, the feet was the most offensive thing in that video. Just never again. Never again, please. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm tangenting about these goddamn things. Okay, that's going to be it for the video. My social media is linked below. Uh, Twitter, Discord server, my Patreon. Uh, jump in my Discord server, say hello, and I will vanish right before your very eyes because I'm a myth. I'm a legend. I, I basically live on Neptune. I'm king of the sea. Who knows, man? I don't really talk there very much. So, you know, I'm like, a, like Bigfoot. So grab a camcorder and see if you can find me. Anyway, that's going to do it, and I will catch you guys later.